All right, small angle approximation questions are free marks in an exam because all you have to do is substitute in. So we have, when theta is small, find the approximate value of cos three theta plus theta tan theta minus one, all divided by theta sine two theta. So in your small angle approximation, you know that sine theta and tan theta approximate to theta and cos theta approximates to one minus theta squared over two and you can find these out by looking at the graphs of theta against sine and tan and this graph against cos theta. All you have to do is substitute these in and replace theta wherever needed. So cos three theta becomes one minus three theta squared over two. So replacing the theta with three theta plus theta times tan theta becomes just theta. So that's theta squared minus one divided by theta times sine two theta, sine two theta becomes two theta. So this would be two theta squared. And now let's simplify that. So one minus one goes away. So now you've got minus nine theta squared over two plus theta squared divided by two theta squared. Now let's just sort out this fraction on top. So if we change the denominators to two, that's minus nine theta squared over two plus 2 theta squared over 2, all divided by 2 theta squared. Adding the fraction on top, you get minus 7 theta squared over 2 divided by 2 theta squared. And now all you have to do is divide the numbers. So write minus 7 theta squared over 2 divided by 2 theta squared, which is just the same as timesing by the reciprocal. And now we can see that the theta squares can get cancelled out, which leaves us with minus 7 over 4. And this is your answer.